a, f- a friend of mine, uh, Rolf Fries, uh, p- uh, threw this out to us, um, and sent this sent this link to me uh, about uh, w- Elizabeth Warren's Green Military Initiative. And uh, first of all, I, uh, let me start by saying this: I have not watched the debates. I have not watched the Fifth Democratic debate. So if this issue got brought up and she said some shit about it or whatever, uh, I have no idea. I'm going based on uh, this article that came out a few days before the debates. So uh, it's about Elizabeth Warren wants to uh, drive a green initiative for the military. Um, she she says uh, the military uh, has not been meeting this threat head on, right? And that's what we need to do with climate change. We need to meet the threat head on. Uh, and she wants to make a, a zero emissions non-combat bases by 2030, right? So non-combat bases, she wants to make them zero emissions. So that means that all of the stuff that they would have in there would not have any emissions at all. They would be uh, carbon neutral, I, I believe is the idea, right? Uh, she wants to have like a green military, green initiative for the military. Uh, here, Here's a fun uh, green military issues. How about no more fucking wars? How about that for a nice green military initiative, right? How about we just don't go invade countries that we have no business being in? How about we don't run coups in countries that we have no business being in trying to take these people's resources away, right? How about we don't throw down economic sanctions on these countries and, and try to take their natural resources by way of some strange global manifest destiny, you know? It's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. You know, the, the environment's uh, in trouble because of the military, because of what the military does. They are, they are a major force um, uh, of, of, uh, of causing climate change, you know? And what, what she should be talking about are real peace solutions, right? How do we... Uh, achieve real peace instead of figuring out how to make uh, the military more green like how do we how do we make the military more green so we can go pillage more oil from these people that doesn't really fucking make any sense right when she says uh, the the military is a threat multiplier for climate change a threat multiplier ooh it's like a video game talk now You know, using the same tactics that the actual military uses for recruitment. Threat multiplier. Oh, man, it's a 3X, you guys. It's a 3X. Threat multiplied. Got war, climate change, and Elizabeth Warren. That's a triple threat (laughs) to everything. Right? So it's nice. We, We like her plan, you know, like I just said, it still continues to enact regime change war. But it'll use, like, solar-powered tanks and drones to go into a country to overthrow their government and try to take their natural resources. And then we just compost the bodies we kill. We'll just compost our enemies, you know? Super fucking green plants. Zero emissions, you guys. Zero emissions to, to, to steal resources from countries that we have no business being in. Like, that's a big... That's, like, very noble. I don't know if you know that very progressive idea to continue war but make it like super progressive about it uh and then she goes on to say the contractors like the military contractors that don't make these bases that don't make the military uh zero carbon emissions will have to pay a fee of one percent uh one percent of their military contract right these guys get paid billions of dollars one percent of their military contract to to be to you know uh to as a a, a a fee for not being zero emissions is nothing to them it's a drop in the bucket it's 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 literally fucking nothing to them right the real zero in this plan is the effectiveness and seeing and the incentives that she's offering these people right how about 50 percent you want you want real green initiatives to be put out there? Fine, 
Some of these companies make billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. That's what these contractors make. How about 50% of that is your fee? Half of what you make if you don't do it. There's, there's a real incentive for you to fucking do it. You want to lose half your money? Then don't, don't be zero carbon emission. Or just don't have worse. That would be fun. That would be a fun one to, to throw out there too. What this plan really does is turn the Green New Deal into a military operation. That's what it does. Just turns it into a military operation, right? Like, here, here's what I would love. I would love if we would stop making progressive choices like tackling climate change, like addressing the issues behind climate change uh, without turning it into a militaristic operation first. I'd love it if we could just do that. I would love it if we could just look at the needs of the people and go, yeah, you know what? I think we should just do it instead of being like, but you know, I bet if we could turn if we could turn the military into like a green military, that would that would really get people on board. Like a bunch of inventions that we've had from the past come from the military, right? Like microwaves, the internet, these were all like military, uh, they had like all military applications and shit. Uh, okay, that's that was in the past. How about we learn from that and go, uh, maybe we could do it better. Maybe we could just do it for the sake of altruism, for the sake of nobility, the people, instead of being like, oh, if the military, which is basically what this fucking economy is run on, is a war economy, if, if we fund that, if we take care of that, it'll, uh, it'll mean that we can have consumer applications to all of this shit. What? How about we stop doing that? How about we just do it so that we can have a progressive future that doesn't involve destroying other countries? That would be fun. That would be a real progressive choice, right? If Elizabeth Warren came out and said, yeah, we want to make a green military, but, uh, but we also want to make sure that these militaries are being used not to go pillage uh, countries for their oil. That doesn't make it a green military if you're using fucking solar power tanks to go do that shit. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy, and I'm on tour pretty frequently. You can check out all of my tour dates on my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Uh, in the next week, I will be in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Champaign, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If you're in those cities, go to my website, grab your tickets, come hang out with me. Once again, you can check out all of my tour dates at ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll hope to see you on the road.